I'm here at Cabela London with Jason. He's kindly invited me to do my hair for this video today. He's a celebrity hair stylist. So. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take a seat. So what are we doing today? Well, I had a photo of something that I had in mind. So it's this Kim Kardashian kind of sleek ponytail look, would you call it? Yeah, it's kind of like a high ponytail, quite full, with a bit of a kind of a sleek fringe, and then just really soft, beautiful, very kind of polished waves. Is this, is this pretty much in fashion at the moment, or? It's very much on trend, like it's literally everywhere, because it's kind of super Instagrammable, but it's kind of super sleek and shiny, and like shiny, glossy hair is like full on at the moment. Great, yeah. well let's yeah. go, yeah. yeah. Perfect, follow me, let's get you shampoos. It's all right, and we'll get the massage on, we'll get you nice and relaxed. Wait, it's massageable seat? Yeah, wow. should come on. Are you enjoying the massage at the same time? Yeah. So how often do you work at this side? Because I know um, it's a bit... So I pop in and out whenever like any of like my celebrity clients or some of my like diehard clients need me. Um, but at the moment, probably average about two days a month. Yeah. Um, and then I do some work over in another salon where we do like a lot of the drag race. Oh, okay. And um, Strictly Come Dancing, The Masked Singer, we do wow. all the TV stuff for that. That's amazing. So. Yeah, keep me busy. Definitely. Where best is that? Uh, Angel Islington. So do you find it's always better to wash the hair first and then do your style? Right? Personally, I do. So I like to kind of get a nice clean gloss and be able to set it. Yeah. Um, some people prefer to kind of style it when it already has a little bit of dirt to it. Yeah. But I just feel like I need it fresh. Massage is ready. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy actually, that it's a massage seat. So what we're adding now? So this is just like a mineral water, which is just gonna help kind of rebalance all the minerals and the vitamins in the hair. Cool. And then we're just gonna use like a prepping lotion, which is just gonna help us set the hair. Do you think pressing the hair before styling is 100%? You know, it's the building blocks. Each section has to be built in the right way to get it all to kind of stick together. Otherwise, it'll just fall apart and unfold. Selfridges at the time, and yeah, it's just hot luck, really. Like just right time, right place. That's all. Yeah, you do, and it's once you kind of get into those circles, it's connections. And I always say it's the ability you need to learn is not to say no, because sometimes people want to tell you exactly who it's for yeah. and it's, you just never know who you're going to be like I've so many times you have their PAs or someone come in and be like oh we need somebody for a blow dry six o'clock in the morning do you have anybody and you just need to learn to say yes because you never know who that person is going to be who would you say uh, is the most famous person that you've done I think it depends on people's own vision of fame like it's done like people from Royal Family to like Victoria Beckham to Drag Race, you know? Like it covers everything. So it all kind of depends on 
Who you see as famous? What would you say is kind of craziest hairstyle that you've ever done? The craziest would probably like the, my absolute favourite because yeah. I was doing like a hair show in Russia and we did like um like zebra prints on like a shaved head which was really really gorgeous. What's your kind of favourite hair to do? Is it colours? Do you know what? Like, that's why I always say, like, hair is just hair. I don't really care. It's really more or less about making a client happy. Everybody wants, like, beautiful, sexy ways, you know? And everybody's kind of obsessed with Kim Kardashian. Um, and then at the moment, color wise, I don't know actually at the moment. Like, it's kind of stalled a little bit. Yeah. Like, people are kind of waiting. The same thing with fashion, really, at the moment as well, isn't it? It's all a bit stagnant. I think it's COVID. Yeah, also, people are changing what they want. So, is there one product which you absolutely swear by that you recommend everyone get into the world? My favourite is shine spray, yeah. <laughs> like I know it's really boring, but my beautiful shiny hair is like what I'm all about. Hair as well, yeah, but if you put too much on, you want like literally just what I can do is not to spray it directly on the hair, be bronze, spray it in my hands, and then lightly run it through because people tend to just like do that, and then it's like a, a river of gloss on top. So the trick with achieving the perfect wave is all in the angle that you hold it and I always tend to use kind of a medium barrel tongue and you almost want to hold it vertical and wrap it round and then just remember to leave the end out because what you want to do is you almost want to create a curl but it needs to be flat if that makes sense. So now we've kind of worked through our waves, what we're going to do is we're going to start to add in the hair extensions, start to brush that out into shape and set it where we want it, and then from there we'll start to work on the ponytail to add that little bit of height and give a little zhuzh zhuzh zhuzh. Um, they're pretty normal, you know, like, I think sometimes when a lot of people do those shows, fame can go to their head, but they are still literally just really normal people, and I think the great thing about them is, is because they do all this and they have that kind of TV persona, they're kind of not recognised on a day-to-day -day basis sometimes, which is kind of nice for them, like they can kind of switch off from work. You mentioned you did some hair for Strictly and things like that as well. How was that for you? What was the experience like kind of working behind? Um, it's fun. Like all that kind of stuff is super, super fun. So like I really, really don't mind, but it's more of like the teams and stuff, yeah. which is always fun. What is this then? So this is like a traditional hairpin. 
which you'd normally kind of clip in to kind of sculpt the hair in. And all we're doing is bending it. So we kind of create that shape and it basically creates a shelf which you can then pop inside with a little bit of lift so when you spread it yeah it then covers it then just creates that nice little shelf gives you that little height And then what you want to do is just brush in the ponytail so it connects into the rest of the hair so it feels like it flows. So what kind of tips would you recommend to someone trying to do this part home? Because I think this part could be a little bit difficult to get This is all about the setting and it's literally, it just comes behind the ear and then just joins into the rest of the hair and hides. So what we tend to do is what we want to do is put in the shape so what we'll do is just come into yes. trying to get a little bit of smoothness on it. And then just a little bend on that end. Just to kind of get rid of all those flyaways. And then we're going to start to brush into position. And then as we start to come along, I'm just going to use some of these flat clips. So are these your flat clips? I see a change. Yes, these are mine. So is this something that's going to be out soon or...? Yeah, as soon as I kind of like spend some more time, I'm happy with the way they are. Is, is we want to bring the wave underneath. Just lightly clip into place and then brush in to the rest of the hair so it just disappears into shape. Have a good day. <laughs> nice to meet you. And you. Bye. Bye.